Hello and welcome to Candle Pins for Cancer. Live from Big 20 Bowling Center in Scarborough, Maine, raising money for bowlers and their families against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate or take part by going to candlepins4cancer.com as you see it on your screen. Introducing the stars of our second doubles matchup, our previous winners with a 1352 handicap qualifier, Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole. And our number three seed with a 1375 handicap qualifier, Dan Altaricio and Corrado Pani. And now your host, Paul Grant. Thanks, Greg Guillard. Thanks for watching on the WON Sports Network and Candle Promoting Network. Executive producer, Bob Lee for Candle Promoting Network. Executive producer for WON Sports, Jonathan Rios. Guys, you're back again. We had a power outage and after the second string, gave you a little bit of break, got your breath. You guys won a thriller of a Cat Altaricio, Gary Crow by two pins. Eric, the fifth seed, now you're in the third seed against the two good bowlers coming up next. Yes, sir. We got very lucky. But fortunately, my partner bowled really well to, to carry me. I uh, fortunately I get to relive my uh, gutter ball experience for the rest of my life. But it happens to the best of us, right? But you know what? A win, you win as a team, you lose as a team, right? Yeah. No, I did the best thing I can do is forget about it and was move it, on. Was it jitters being was it jitters being streamed a little bit? Uh, a little bit of that, and I've, I've kind of changed my approach a little bit, so just to lengthen my shot, just because I felt like I was rushing through it a little bit. So, but either way, it is what it is. Hopefully, they'll fall on the next one. Good luck. All right, Jordan Stackpole, man, you were on fire. You had a 117 first, a 115 second string. You know what I'm supposed to do with a, what, what, a 102 average? Yeah, I'll take it. We needed it, so this time it's his turn, so we'll see how it goes. Good luck. All right, the number three seed, Dan Altricio, Cat's father. Come over here, Dan. Your daughter bowled great. She wasn't happy, but she bowled tremendous. She was well over average, threw a great ball. She had command of a ball a lot more today than she has when she in the past. Yeah, she tried to keep a minute. You know, uh, when she's on the head pin, she can hit some shots. And uh, you know, anytime you bowl with Cat, it's interesting. That, that's an understatement. Do you have uh, Do you have fun uh, little little get-togethers like one-on-one -on -one matches? I try not to anymore. I used to, but uh, yeah, she's uh, you know, she swears too much for me. Really. <laughs> You won a state tournament in Maine at Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine, before too. Yes, some years ago, yeah, up in Newport. Uh, you know, five-man team, one state's up there, exciting. Uh, you know, the pins are really going that day. A lot of fun. Good luck today. Corrado Pani, alias C-minus, how you doing? The Good only team. outsider, nine, ten, big 20 bowlers, you invade as the outsider. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm used to being It's causing outside. havoc, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, everywhere I go, it seems like it's all right, though. I like it. Good bowl, 116 in the Pro Bowl at uh, Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mass. Chucky's house, Chuck Pizzola's house. Talk about some of your accomplishments to your viewers that don't know you. Uh, I mean, the resume isn't huge. Um, I've came in ninth in the Easter Classic, if that means anything. And pretty good, about 102 bowls. And I won the New England Candle Pins last year in June up in Nellis. So. You're always you've been bowling some main money match. You're very competitive. You still bowl at a high level. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to. I'm getting older and, you know, I'm tweaking little things that I never used to tweak before, but um, it's all good. Yeah, I enjoy the game. Good luck today. Back to Greg. Thanks so much, Paul. Remember, this is Candlepin Bowling. Three balls per frame and any pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. This is a handicap format. Take a look at your screen here. It will be a 17-pin gap in favor this time for Mason and Stackpole, so there you see it. 51 pins overall for Altaricio and Pani to chase down in this match. High seed picks, high seed picks. Dan, you pick where you start. There we go. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was a, that was a great first match, Greg. Uh, indeed, Paul, sorry, your mic wasn't up before. Okay, so that was a great first match. That's our second match of four today. Oh. Left-handed Dan Altaricio, the third seed with Corrado Pani. Beautiful ball, banana split to start. The first of three strings, total pinfall wins. Eric Mason survived that first match. Didn't ball his best stuff, but it's in the books and they win by two pins. Dan clips out the seven, four, six, 10. Eric Mason. 1, 2, 6, 10. 95% based on the 130 average of the handicap. Nice out, 9 for Dan Altaricio, Cat's father. Eric in the channel for a 6. So again, again, explain that format to the viewers that are just joining in. 
That's right. So this is 95% handicap for both the roll-offs, which happened before, and this step ladder now. Bowlers are given spotted 95% of their averages up to 130. And uh, when you calculate all that in and uh, punch in the numbers, 17 pins for Mason and Stackpole is what they get in order to make this a uh, competitively fair match. Deanna 4-2 split, second box, first string underway. And Eric Mason in the channel, he had trouble with that in that middle string. They got tested in that first round. Yeah, good bid. Chops out the one and the eight. Eric's second ball. Almost stole it. That would have been a spare. All but number one. He had a similar bounce back, albeit a cross box, as in the last match. Again, using the whole approach. Missed left for a six. 15 through two scratch. Eric Mason, nine. 15 through two scratch. Tied. Not including the handicap. Right, so as long as the scores remain level, that does favor Mason and Stackpole, unlike in their last match. Where they did a great job running down the handicap that was working against them. I'll take it next. Altaricio trying to find the head pin, and does. Another split. Split City. Oh, maybe not. The four wants to go, rocking and rolling which happens every Friday and Saturday night, the Rock and Bowl, 6 to 10 p.m., $13 a person, shoes included, two hours of great bowling, music included. Yes. Want more Candlepin action? You've got it. WON Sports is very happy to announce that we've come to an agreement and have partnered with Candlepin Corner to broadcast and syndicate Candlepin Corner's skins, powered by Lita Lanes across the WON television network starting this May. And joining us on Candlepin Bowling Network, I've generally used the Candlepin's of Cancer series as well. Altarisi has a chance with a bunch of wood behind the head pin. The power of Jonathan Rios. <laughs> Check mark for Mason. Altricio for a spare. Really? Somehow the wood goes between the five and the nine. I guess it deflected away. That's brutal. Mason, who needs the wood spare? What Ooh. a shot. 35 in a ball through four. The most important ball is the one in your hand. Tremendous. Yeah, 10. 33 through four. I say that a lot. I, I blame Danny Finn for that. He just impressed that on me like he does so many bowlers. Again, from Burlington, Massachusetts originally, now in Scarborough, Maine. A 100 league bowl, the 108 is best season inning average. He has a high single of 170, a high triple of 415, high five of 595, and a high 10 of 1183 out of the big 20 here in Scarborough, Maine. Two in the eight. Mason. Four in the spare, 39 through four. Dan's family and relatives were 10 pin bowlers going up. Good effort again. That won't go, six in the 10. It was spilling though, good action. Mason right down the middle. Good to see Mason getting the ball out there. On that ball that went into the channel, it bounced right off the foul line. It's really where you release the ball, as long as it doesn't go over that lob line, about 10 feet down the lane. Dan Altricio, 9, 42 half, no marks. Eric Mason, a spare four in the fourth, seven in the fifth, 46 half. As our next bowlers get up, I'll just explain Mike Gagnon is our uh, in-house referee here, has refereed to APH matches before up in the state of Maine, and uh, happy to have him along as well. Great job to Mike Walker hosting, the president of the Maine Candleman Association, the great owner here, the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, his mother Leslie, all both tireless workers. Great food here also, the full bar at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Richie called Stato, Maine. The name is still out there in the top of the building. Corrado Pani out of Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. With a 3-2 split, very dangerous bowler. Jordan Stackpole, dangerous in that first match, 1-2-4. Pani, good bid, has a banana split. Stackpole, no. Hit his object. Next in a row, they'll get $25 in bonus money as an individual. Consecutive marks after that will add $25. $100 for a 400 series, $100 for a triple strike. Stack pole wobbling three right, wobbling hmm. five left, wood in between. The pins sort of moved apart, but there is wood in between, so not a big deal. Corrado six standing. Great second ball, that won't go. Six right, five middle, eight left. Stack pole spare. Well, he was awesome that first match. One strike and nine spares. We make 19 no, the ball through two, Greg. We make no illusions to the fact that we can bowl all the strings on the same day, so as they climb the ladder, it might be upwards of a dozen strings, but Mason and Snackpole showing they might have what it takes to go the distance. 
Grotto in eight, 15 through two. Jordan 19, the ball through two. Scott Lappy had won the, won the ladder in the singles last year as a five seed, winning over $2,700. $2,000 first pl prize plus bonus money. Grotto Pawnee on the nose. Wills down the four, and the 10 pin gets rearranged close to the channel. Look at that lead, the huh. six and the rearranged 10. Six and the 10. Seven in the spare for Jordan, 26 through two. Another good start. Corrado won't go. Man, that break. I thought if you breathed on that 10 pin, it would drop. Ball deflected away, though. Stack pole, can't get the four to go. If that wood came down off the channel, leaning on the side, which is down, it could have bounced back for the spare. Yeah. Corrado nine, 24 through three. Slow start for his team. Jordan gets a nine, 35 through three on Canopin Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network. So seven on the fill and nine in the box. That's yes. how it should look, and there we go. WON Sports Television Network, or WON Television Network, rather, is proud to bring you another horror movie showcase program called Monster Movie Night, hosted by Horror Movie Show with Bobby Gimminster and Boris Buzzard, presenting horror movies via the internet since 2011. Coming this May to the WON Television Network, check your local listings for station, day, and time. Monster Movie Night on WON Television Network. Coming this May. Crowd on the diamond. Can't uncut it. Son of a gun. Jordan Stackpole, the Christy Apple special in Maine, we call it. Just missed. So good at running those horsemen down, at least. Christy, a fine, nice lady pro bowler. Never makes that shot. So we call it the Christy Apple special. He gets a kick out of that. Corrado gets a 10. 34 through 4. Stackpole gets a 10 with the wood. He's at 45 through 4. Almost looks like Stackpole's going to just drop off to his right there, but. Unless we have a number of big league pitching deliveries in uh, Major League Baseball. We have a former MLB pitcher in Mike Smith, actually, who bowls these days. My referee, Mike Yagnon, put $30 into Kennel for Cancer Bucket. And how about a bowl that got a check from Kennel for Cancer? Put in $250 back today to Kennel for Cancer. Thank you very much. Crowd of Pawnee, nine pin drop, nine pin for a spare. Jordan, the five wobbles, wobbles goes down. Clean shot at the seven. Would possibly to help, but that might be a problem. Corrado for a spare, got it, on the board. First mark of the team, 44 and a ball through five. Pinning well though, as he usually does, so a couple more marks and he can make his average. Jordan, the ski ball shot, Wood goes over the seven into the 50 spot. <laughs> I love ski ball. Yeah. I always go with that 50 and always miss a bunch of up high. Now the 100 shot in the corner, got it. And that is a Paul Grant special, missed the second shot, make it on the third, a 10, 55 half. Update from Greg Guillard. There we go. So it's uh, Mason and Stackpole are winning scratch quite simply. So that 17 handicap is climbing. Whoa, don't drop the mic like that. And here they come. Mason and uh, Altaricio now switching lanes. 250-50 raffles being done by Linda Tarasi today. Woman Linda Sargent doing a great job, as always, helping us out. Her company donated $500. Linda puts in 40 hours to help out community service and she gets $500 check to the charity of her choice. She picked Canopins for Cancer last year and for this year also. Thank you very much, Linda Tarasi. It's going to be Linda du Dubois. We'll get, get married in, in uh, December. It's a very important point, and we'll get back to that in just a moment. First Mason with a 1-8. Got it. Nice shot. Two marks and threes. Uh, <laughs> feeling it. Altrice, a good bid. It's a setback shot. It's called Made Note Famous in Canada. Either the 5, 6, 10 right or the 5, 4, 7 left. So Altaricio is going to get a 9 out of this. Paul, talk about it, why people should go to CandlePinsForCancer.com and how the money uh, helps families we in help the bowling families. community. Candlepin Bowl is going through cancer treatments. We paid over $45,000 out in the last few years. All the money received goes to bowls, their relatives going through cancer treatments. You can do it by Vemo or check the check address on the website or Vemo, CandlePins number 4, Cancer.com. The River I stream live. Five and ten. And it's money that's just given directly to bowlers and their families, yeah, you know. Yeah, it all goes full circle. It's good to get back like the, uh, the guy Ralph did today, Ralph Williams, a senior bowler, who went through cancer treatments last year and gave back $250. That's awesome. Mason got eight on that fill. We had a great crowd earlier. We had about three dozen people watching. Cat Altarice got a fan club here today. She's still here. A lot of people still here watching. Mason missed left. Cat Eight, lives nearby. Spare though. Like Maybe. many of these bowlers, Cat lives nearby. She's not far. Yep. 
Again, nice shot, picked it up. Spare. Five drop last, but it's a good ball anyway. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. His first mark, 61 of the ball through seven. Eric a spare eight, 64 through six, eight in the box, 72 through seven. That's right, Eric Mason with a 94 average, Dan Altaricio with 98. And before I forget, Corrado Pani with a 116 average, and Jordan Stackpole with a 102. They couldn't tell it was only 102 from that last match. Mason looks right. He's had some trouble at times, inconsistent. Yeah, all hung up on his lanes. It's like a fastball pitcher, have no, no control yeah. of the strike zone. Some of the crowd was looking at Mike there, but he, he won't call the lob on that. Oh, what Ooh. a comeback! He goes! The second piece would got it, and once again, a great second ball picks it up for a spare. Dan had three in his spare, Phil, 64 through seven. He's looking at the one, three, five, seven on lane four here in beautiful Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. He gets an eight, 72 through eight. And Eric Mason, two spares in the last three. He has four, uh, three spares rather, in the last four boxes. 82 in a ball through eight. Eric, much more comfortable after that first match. If only they were consecutive, three consecutive marks pays $25. On the bonus, a lemon drop, that's five dollars for Cannabis Cancer. There we go, split. Now wait a second, Mike doesn't have to enforce lemon drop donations, he's already uh, working oh, hard as it is. Shot. Really five? Oh, I got it, unbelievable. No reprieve in the lemon drop. He still has to pay five dollars. What a spot, good job for a spare. Well, he's close to making 25 anyway, so he might be able to afford it. Ooh. Oh, what a try, Bell Teresio. That won't go. Eric, 83 through eight on the spare one, a spare, 93 to ball through nine. Four spares in the string. Altresio gets to go for a 10, 82 through nine. Which again is above his average if he's getting 10 boxes. So the qualifying scores for our viewers at Greg Turner. Dan doing well. Please. That's right. Read it out earlier, Altaricio and Pani, 13.75. That's including the handicap, and Mason and Stackpole with 13.52. It was these handicaps that determine the standings. Eric, perfect shot. What do you get to show for it? A spread eagle. 3.6, 10 on the right, 2, 4, 7 on the left. A four fill, 97 through 9. Altaricio, 3, 7, 8, 10. Bunch formation wood on the right. Eric grabs two. Hmm. Dan's looking at this, really studying it. I mean, I can't see any play other than the right cap of the wood unless you want to try and incorporate the diagonal wood too. But where would that send the ball? Trying to get it. Good try. Yeah, so probably just risk the ball deflecting anyway. Needed the front wood in the very least. Eric gets an eight. He had a 103 first string in the first match. Yep. He starts with a 105 here in the second match, first string. A plus for his teammate, that's above average. Dan gets them both for a 10. 92, first string. Against a 98 average, slightly below, but only a mark just. Corrado Pani now on lane four. Jordan Stackpole, who helped his team win the first match by two pins. Watch it later on Canelton Bowling Network and later on on WON Sports Television Network. Corrado Pani on the yellow shirt, 44 in a ball. Jordan Stackpole, 55 <laughs> half. Above the WON Sports logo. Comes back for the four and the seven. He has the one, two, nine. Crado above the Camel Pins for Cancel logo on lane four. The beautiful big 20 on Route 1 Scarborough, Maine. Off to the right, just three. 47 half. Stack pole too far left, nothing there. Corrado trying to work out this mess. Beautiful ball, Ooh. he got it! Yes, Josh. Just a moment. No, no, no. We already had the somersaulting pin. That was a great no. clip. Jordan gets two for a nine. No. 64 through six. Corrado, 57. The ball through six. Two spares in a row. Three marks in a row. $25 in bonus money per individual bowler. And it continues on if you continue marking on. Yeah, our new moderator and content assistant, Nico Puhara in Missouri, almost had another great clip of a pin being ridiculous. If you haven't seen the somersaulting pin from the Pro Series, check that out. We posted it on Facebook. Jordan lucky to get eight, has the one and nine. Corrado in the bonus, beautiful ball. A two on split though, four, seven, and the 10. But he's got wood possibly, maybe a little too deep. He puts the stop sign up. 64 through six in the first of three. Jordan knew it right away. 
two excellent strings in that first match. A 117 to 115. He's a 102 average. 102 for Snackball. 104 is best season inning average. Corrado, what a try. Ugh. Tonight, three in a row. Wood was too far back to shoot across to the 10. Jordan, eight. 72 through seven. Corrado gets the 10, gains two. 60, make that 74 through seven. Pani needs spares to get over but uh, his average, but it's still pretty good. Superwoman returns to WON, part of Super May. Linda Hines returns as the Woman of Steel in two upcoming film presentations that puts her face to face with some of the most disturbing and deadly oh, foes. Oh, hold on, that's a strike. Don't Superman here. Ain't that the truth. Also, don't miss Superwoman 14, Unbound, and Superwoman 15, License to Kill, both coming this May to the WON Cinema YouTube channel and the WON Television Network. Crowd upon a banana Every time I do a Candle Fitzer Cancer promo, someone gets a spare of strike, it seems like, most of the time. Could we please time these better? I know, really. You're interrupting, Jordan. <laughs> Crowd will miss that shot. Jordan's second strike today. One string in the first match. Crowd gets an eight. 82 through 8. So Super One in May on WON's television network. And again, Mason beating Alteresio Scratch means that they're, they're still a favorite. Stackpole is going to go ahead of Pawnee on this, Phil. Trying to double up the strike. Maybe more. Crossing over gets 8. 9 in the 10. Not going to be easy. We'll take the strike after this. Corrado, smooth ball. Can't get the seven to go. Uh, Three in the right. Get that man a break, will you? He's a lot a of splits. I roll at that piece of wood that just disappeared off the back. Jordan Ooh. won't go. Eight in the strike, though. Big fill. 18 box. 90 through eight. Corrado gets a nine. Actually, a ball to go. Yeah. Just because we play the live wood doesn't mean this game is easy. Jordan field goal for eight. 98. 98 through nine in the first of three. Corrado Pani, 9, 91 through 9. He's a 116 league bowler. He's way under. And they get some work to do to get to the semifinals. Pani's had a, uh, three, maybe four splits by my count, though, so he is getting luckless. That's why he's a little apoplectic at the pins at the moment. Jordan just three. Corrado, nice pocket shot, strike! Wow, what a bomb! It's about gosh diddly darn time. Nice shot by Corrado. That's your point of split. And again, nope. Again, you're aiming for the head pin. Pawnee's been doing that more often than not. 101 plus 2 to 10 finally gets rewarded. No splitting headache. Nice out. 9, maybe 10, 10. Outstanding 10. That's a wild 10. Ten? Jordan Stackpole, 108, first string. Standard gutter clearance ball, and then Corrado Pawnee will have two to fill. As Mason and Stackpole are doing their job. Making up more than the handicap. The winner of this match takes on Jordan Lakin. 19 year old Jordan Lakin and Kevin Richards next on Kenneth Moley Network on the WON Sports Television Network. This is the first of three strings here. Corrado trying to get a double strike. Looks good, but only six somehow. Trying to get a, 20, a big 20 here in Scarborough, Maine. The ball weighs less than the pins, about an ounce or two less, so the ball just deflected away right there, even though Pawnee found his pocket. And you got them all, a big 20 here at the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Nice finish, 111, first string. A quick score update from Greg Gouillard before the commercial break. There we go, after one, it is a 27 pin advantage for Mason and Stackpole, including the handicap. We'll be right back for string number two in just a moment. Do you, how long do you need, Paul? Do we? Yeah. Just a second, we'll be back into it. We'll point. All right, we'll be right back, folks. Good to see you, Mike Lynch. We won't be replying to a lot of chat, but good to see you and everyone commenting. Go ahead, Paul. Okay, welcome back to the second string of three. Our second match of four today, all four matches later on the WON Sports Television Network. This is Candlepins for Cancer. First, any doubles, top five live show at the beautiful Big 20 in Route 1, Scarborough, Maine, home of the Rock and Bowl tonight, every Friday and Saturday night, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. A great way to practice, get friends involved. $13 per person, shoes included. Two hours of great Candlepin bowling in a festive atmosphere. Rock and Bowl every Friday and Saturday night here at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. 
This is Count from Bowling Network on YouTube. Second string of three underway. Dan Altricio on the right for Eric Mason with the Christie half for a special, we call in Maine. Dan leads up to five in the eight. Mason got the easy one out of the way. Dan, nice 10. Eric gets all four for 10 also. Nice remember, pickup. Remember, this is a handicap tournament right here, so the aim is just to bowl over your average. 95% makes up most of that in practice. Kenelfin, Kenelfin's for Cancer, a 501c3 registered charity. Donations via Venmo on your screen. Kenelfin's number four, cancer.com, and to bowl in upcoming roll-offs as well. Well, Greg, on that promotion a little bit, another banana split. Four, seven left, six, 10 right. Eric Mason goes left, he gets a break. He gets the one wobbling three goals. It's the one and nine, and the nine goals. Thank you. Dan gets the short two on the right. And a lot of times you miss the head pin the first ball and all the other nine go down. It's hard to get it more than a regular single pin stand, about 13% difference or so. Well, statistically, that's the way it shows up. Stats by Kenneth Moore never, but this time he gets it. Strong start, 10 in the spare. Dan gets a 10, he has two 10s. It's a perfect game in Candlepin, 10s, spares and strikes. It is not easy, it's a game of skill and challenge. It's a sport for all ages. People in their hundreds bowl Candlepin bowling, people in the 90s, 80s, 70s, and young kids as well. Never too late to bowl Candlepin bowling. Nothing like it. Oh, strike bid nine. Had a hop, Teresio. Had a hop step at the line. Great count anyway. Eric Mason crouching down on the bonus, on the nose. Ooh. Three, two split. Dang, that looked. five through two in the second of three. Sorry, I keep interrupting Paul. That seemed like a good ball going down is all. Altaricio, spare. Second spare of the match. Two tens in a spare, perfecto so far. Eric chops out two. I thoroughly disagree with Dan. I would have loved to see father versus daughter in the next match. We could do a money match. <laughs> fundraising, fundraising event. We'll be back here at Big 20. Great center. Great yeah. people. Oh, the walk is, uh, they've, they've been awesome to us. Uh, they've been personally yeah. great to me. And uh, they've asked me to host the Maine State Opens and Eliminations. Eliminations next weekend. I'll be there at Archie Strike and Spare in Parsonsfield, Maine. Beautiful 10 lane facility. Up for sale if you want to buy it. $500,000. Put your bid in. Keep it in the Candle from Bowling community. Next weekend on Candle from Bowling Network on YouTube, the following weekend, Maine opens. Oh. At Stars and Strikes, South Paris, Maine on Candle from Bowling Network on YouTube. All trees are somehow six. Look at that lead. Six, nine right, seven, eight left on the spare. 36 through three in the second of three. A diamond for Mason. Any theories, Chad? I have no idea. Six, seven, eight, nine. They're only now, consecutive numerically. Good luck with that shot, Dan. Four, seven, eight. Mm. Mason leads up to three right, five left. Wood in between. Now, Teresio grabs one for an eight. 44 through four. Four is a wild. Eric spins around, missed the five for a nine, and not perfect anymore. He wasn't after that second box, third box anyway, so now it's 42 through four. Ten, spare five, eight, Nine. Yeah, Dan only just lost perfection with that one. Right. I read the wrong scoreboard. Perfect game of candle pin is uh, not not a 300. No one's ever going to do that. It's just uh, getting all the pins oh, down. Another nine drop for Altaricio. Made the last one. 245, the world record by Ralph Simmons, 1984 with house balls and house shoes. I hear him. I believe Ralph. I still don't believe it. Yeah. Every, year, the Hall, every time in the Hall of Fame committee. Epco and Shambles. For a spare. He got it. Sometimes the wood bounces around. He got that one to go. Second spare in the last three. 54 out plus one. Dan bowling like Dan. Mason. Ooh. Oh, somehow. Oh, another try. Doesn't go. Well, I guess outside on the head pin, but that's brutal. Two for one special. No dice. Harsh outcome. Six pin remains. Eric got robbed. Nine. 51 half. Not happy with that shot, but. Not his fault, real good. Remember, two pins was the margin of victory in the last match. You just never know which ball is going to be the winning one. Karata Pani on the right, Jordan Stackpole on the left. 
How many splits did, you know, did uh, Karate have on that first string, Greg? Um, he had at least um, four or five. I, I, I showed his four, plus he had like a parallel pin leave at one point. Splits based on head pin hits. He had a strike spare combination to get a 111 yeah. first string. I confess I don't have complete information on that, but it's a lot. Oh, Ronnie, no. nice ball. Look at this. Oh, one five. Ouch. Oh, no. Talk about perfection. Stackpole, meanwhile, crossing over. Call it the Brooklyn side. Double wood. Double pins, excuse Maybe me. Maybe the nine. Corrado trying to work on this jam. What a try. And gets six of the eight. Not bad. Eight and the nine. Stackpole. No. Really? I guess the wood wasn't totally horizontal. Corrado. It's a nine out of that jam. Well, he had them both. Jordan gets the 10. Updating the string and the match lead right now by Greg Guiar. Yes, my pleasure. So remember, Mason and Stackpole got, won that first string by 10 pins scratch. So plus the 17, they come into this with a 27 pin advantage uh, from the first string. And then of course, they're already making uh, 17 each string. So you see they're up by 59 overall in the match. So although Altaricio and Pani are expected to run that down, they still have a ways to go. Grotto eight, Jordan nine. Grotto is the three six, Jordan the 10. Second block, second string from Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Mm -hmm. Splits the upright, spare. 19 the ball through two. Jordan right on and spare. 20 the ball through two. Boy, this kid is good. Jordan representing here, Big 20 Bowling Center in Scarborough, Maine. You can see by the back of the shirt. Corrado's shirt, it's hard to make out the white on yellow. Central Park Lanes in East Boston. Check, check. Special shout out to Chuck Mazzella, great owner. Central Park Lanes, a great bowl in his day. East Boston Mass. Corrado on the nose, back Ugh. to a split. Six right, two, four, seven left on the spare, 25. His first couple. Jordan missed the head pin, he gets seven. One, nine, 10, that's on a spare. 27 is for his two boxes. Corrado, try to kick it over. Kick it over, won't go. Hit the object again. That's why you get three balls. Jordan missed everything there. Corrado, nice pinning, nine. 34 through three. Stackpole, gets an eight. 35 through three. Trust me, folks, we do enjoy this game. Of course, these pins drive you nuts, but there's still leagues all across New England and Eastern Canada. We enjoy it for a reason. Jordan Stackpole, Eric Mason, the fifth seed, deep defeated a thrilling match. Two pins over Cat Altaricio and Gary Quoro. Corrado missed left. One, seven, right side, 6-10. Stackpole slipped and gets the 6-10 to go down. Paul, this is your mute button, by the way. Number three. Corrado trying to work it, up, work it out, but missed it. Not going to be easy anyway. Jordan, good second ball, just missed the three. Corrado trying to get a bunch, does for nine. He'll mm -hmm. take that one. 43 through four, middle string. Yeah, two splits already in the string for Corrado, not including that, of course, that missed the head pin. Jordan gains the 10, 45 through four. And again, Mason and Stackpole are the ones being spotted pinned, so if they're gaining scratch, look out. We could have some ladder climbers on our hands. I'll read after this. Corrado on the crossover, eight. Three right, five left, makeable chance. Stackpole, one, two, seven, nine, ten. Back to lane five in this 20 lane beautiful facility. Corrado for a spare, knew it right away. One of the rare moments where this is his fault. What a try by Stackpole. Corrado tried to pull the hairs out of his head in that shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the 10, 53 half. 
Stackpole gets a nine. I'm going to punch straight into this PSA. <laughs> <laughs> nice half 54 for a Stackpole. Be sure, the match. be sure to join us for the next Candlepins for Cancer event as Candlepin Bowling Network will bring you coverage of the mixed double stepladder live from Bolarama in Sanford, Maine. Tune in Sunday, June 2nd. Sunday, Paul. Starting at 11 a.m. on Candlepin Bowling Network and seen later on the WON Television Network, which has YouTube presence and, of course, local access as well. 30 st television stations across the country. You count the skins on Canopin Corner. Join the party in May. Woohoo! Eric Mason. Always a party. 51 half. Now on the right side. They switch every five boxes. Dan Altaricio on the spare. Six, 60 half. Not bad. Great half. One, two, four, and a 10. Mason leaves up the head pin. Left hander for a spare somehow. Got the head pin barely. Four and the 10. Eric gets a nine, 60 through six. Altricio, nice pinning, nine, 69 through six. And again, this is a difficult game here. Uh, averages are, uh, in this handicap tournament are averaged up 95% to 130, handicapped up to uh, 130. So the fact that we're setting 130 as the high bar here just gives you a sense of how challenging Candlepin can be. 4-2 split for Mason. Altaricio in the pocket. Ugh. Look at this leave. Wow, kind of like Corrado's opposite way this time. 4-9-10. 3-9 punch out for Mason. He's got the 1-6, 4-7 left. Yeah, I'm as stumped as you are, Dan. 4-9-10. I think his uh, left shoulder is bothering him a little bit here. I noticed. You can see it there. I'll take a nine, almost a ten. Or? Pretty good. That was almost a spare, actually. Mason missed for a six. Well, the sticks might matter, though. 66 through seven in the second of three. Altaricio gets the ten. 79 through seven of a fine string. I mean, a lot of bowlers put a snap on the end in order to get a good break, even though it's a mostly straight ball going down the lane. But it seems as though Dan's approach really has a snap to it at the end. Hopefully that's not aggravating the shoulder too much because it's proving effective in this string. Mason, 4-2 split. Dan Altaricia won the average per handicap, the APH tournament in Maine, a state event, team tournament, in the past Newport Entertainment Center, Newport, Maine. Look at this leave, 3-6 right, 4-7 left. Dan Eric. and Corrado. Broadline lob, missed everything. It was a lob, would have been would have been a subtraction, Mike Gagnon said, but he didn't hit anything. Oh, what a shot! Oh, so close. Corrado and Dan have a lot of splits though. 10 boxes might be big today. Eric a seven, after a six, just 73 through eight. Altaricio said nothing south of eight right now, he's pinning well. Dan gets the 10 to go. 89 through eight, second 10 in a row. Fourth of the string. So he's gaining, uh, it, I mean, it's a close match, even though Mason has two more spares. Altaricio is pinning, is bringing it back in, and they're actually within three scratch, these first bowlers. Eric in the channel. That would have been a lob again, I was told. If it didn't hit any pins down, it would have been subtracted. Altaricio, spread eagle plus the eight. You kidding me? Slightest of margins can throw off the timing. It's punch city. The temptation to overthrow is massive there. Dan, look at this. Two, three split. Strange leave. Take a video of that one, folks. Two, eight, three, six, ten right. Mason, good out. Nine. Get the ball further down the lane. Really deliver it towards the pins. And get it done. Eric, 82 through nine. Dan takes an eight, I'll take that one. That situation, 97 through nine. Corrado Pani, Jordan, stack mm -hmm. hole to wrap up the second string. One more string after this. $600 to split for the runner-ups. Punches up the three and the nine. Altricio, too far right. Oh, look at that, he gets nine somehow. 
Dominoes delivers, tap of the one. His body language wasn't sure what to make of that shot. Mason Paul Grant shot right in the same spot. Many of two boxes I used to bowl before I got injured. Mason can find the range later. We've seen it already. Again, missed that chance. Wood comes back, but the back wood got in the way. Tough break. Mason, a four box. Big swing here, almost like a spare difference. Dan didn't get it anyway. And that's what I talked about earlier, that get the head pin yep. left up and it'll so let you go. Now it's a one pin uh, advantage in this string for Altaricio and Pawnee, despite the 17 handicap they have. And now Corrado has made world's rosters before. Has the ability to extend this. Dan, 106 string, Eric, 87 string. Forgot to mention Cat Altaricio, gold in the mixed worlds before also. Well, great in that first round today. Jordan Stackpole on the nose. We'll have coverage of Mixed Worlds in a few months' time. Can't wait for that. A lot of splits. Pins are flying here at the Big 20 today, though. Exquisitely cared for lane. You all can see the shine on the wood uh, on the approach. Corrado, head pin hit, and again a split. Maybe, no, the five goes. On the lanes, I mean to say. Jordan would try for the seven. Yes! Wow! 6 10 7, no problem. Spare. Corrado, spare the match. Jordan, 64 in a ball through six. Corrado, 63 in a ball through six. On Camelopin Bowling Network and the WON Sports Television Network. If you only like to watch Scratch, hey, that's your choice. But you're missing some fun here, I'll tell you what. Stackpole on the bonus, just two, the two and the eight. The wood stays on somehow. 12 beats a 10, the optimist would say. 66 through six. Corrado's turn. And he has a two-one split again. 70 through six in the second of three. Stackpole, long side, got two, six up. Corrado trying to go west coast to east coast here in lane four. Good try, oh, it hit the 10, barely. Another mile or two per hour on that ball, that would have gone. That's the advantage of a fastball thrower. Stack ball is seven, a rare seven for him, you could say. 73 through seven, Corrado gains three more, the 10. 80 through seven, late in the second. So that's twice now Pawnee's gained here. And indeed the anchor of the Altaricio Pawnee pair well, they're only down, they gain nine up the deficit, right? So down, what, 18 right now in the match? That's right. Stack ball crossing over a bundle of five. It says plus 35, but my scoreboard is including the 17 more they will face once the third stringer Corrado is Corrado for a strike! Get over yes! 10. Yes! 10 goes last! Get over 10. Big strike. 90 plus two through eight. Jordan, oh, it goes! Spare! Lean right in the nine. Big time shot. Again, 83 the ball through it. He's been terrific, Greg, today. Splendid. I have no idea which way this match is going to go. I tell you what. Just like the first one today. Jordan on the bonus, right side, six. 89 to eight. Corrado on a strike. Love to double it up, but missed the pocket. The Augusta main special, not anymore. It's the 110. It's only, that's the, main, that's the, one only the second head pin Pawnee's missed in the string. Stack hole, chopped out the four. Second ball on the strike of crowd. Look for a big 20 like he did in the first. I'd call it A plus head pin accuracy myself, but. Well, just hey, missed inside. Eight in the strike. 98. 98 through eight in the second of three. Jordan trying to clean it up. Eight. 97 through nine. Corrado, there it goes. That's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. 108 through nine. Some people give a dollar to Caleb Pitzer Kants when they do a Paul Grant special. Yeah, it is better bowling than just missing it the third time around as well, to be fair. Stack ball, beautiful ball. Pins seem to disagree. Not bad though. Decent um, wood though, five, nine, seven. Not gonna be easy, but a chance. Front wood is the killer, I think. If Angle. it was just, go on Paul, sorry. Sorry. Right on the nose, another split. Could be What's about eight splits in the match for him so far? Maybe uh, nine? Fourth in this string alone, That's so certainly. Eight, eight at least. I'd say eight. Jordan for spare. Cap? Can't get the seven to go. Uh, weird things happen when you hit the cap. Just the momentum's just not there. 
Corrado, good try. Can't quite reach the four. You see the idea of what he was trying, looking for a wall shot there to get the wood spinning. Made some great second shots, just missed. Stack pole nine, Jordan, 97 through nine, 107. Second string over his average again, Corrado nine. 117 second string with one string to go. It's 527 to 512, a 15 pin lead for the fifth seed Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole on the Candlepin Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network. That for the third and final string. It'll become moment. 32 in just a moment. Be right back. Paul, you can talk into your headset right now. It's okay. They'll hear it too, but that's fine. What's up? Uh, I'm just going to update my score sheet meanwhile. For you fine folks out there, good to see you all. Please do comment below, even though we won't be getting to your questions uh, during the show, but great to have you along. We almost had overtime in the first match today. Will we have one here? 15 pin lead, 30 right now. Right, Greg, if you include the handicap, is that what it is? 15, right? Um, yeah, that's right. It's going to become. Uh, so we have the 15 pins in there, down 30, but that includes the handicap. Ju just, one uh, string to go. If we tie a full one string roll off. I'm just going to verify one more time, but it should be 32. Oh, it's a 32. Let's double check. 32 officially, we're told. Hold on. <laughs> All right, final string about the start in just a moment. Thanks for watching. Again, donations by Avemo, Candlepins yeah, number four, Cancel.com. Yeah, 32. I got it right. Candlepins yes. number four, Cancel.com. The winner of this match takes the number two seed, Jordan oh. Lakin and Kevin Richards. Are we ready to start? Yep. All right, sounds good. All right, here we go, final string. Can the fifth seed do it again and get to the semifinals? $600 to split for the runner-up today. No bonus money at all. Three marks in a row. We're still looking for that. That is had some close calls. I think Jordan's come the closest on multiple occasions. And he came close to getting the $100 strike challenge, which we'll have again at the end of the show. Eric Mason had a nine drop actually the last time. Dan Altricio, a diamond plus the 10. It was Eric, excuse me. It's all right. Eric gets the two there, the two and the eight. Final string underway. First place prize today, $1,500 to split, 1,000 for second place to split. Dan, one of the 10. Very good bowler. Eric, good second ball, five and a seven. Left-hander for a 10. Nice try, huh. just missed for a nine. Eric with the wood, missed inside, field goal for an eight. All right, so if you include the handicap, it's 595 to 564. Corrado's team down 31, but they have the higher average team. So they have plenty of time left to get this. One down, 31 to go. You even know what can happen any given day, any given string, any given match. Altaricio, that got away. Got four of that somehow. Eric Mason, again, the Christy Hapworth special we call it here in Maine. Dan trying to work out of it. Just missed the head pin. One, three, seven, ten on lane five. Back to lane four. Eric Mason. One of the two. Altricio, nice shot. All four. What a ten that was. Eric gets the ten also. 19 for Dan, 18 for, for Eric through two here in the final string of the match. Yep. Mason and Stackpole holding on. Our appreciation to Mike Gagnon for volunteering to referee today. Enforcing the law blind hasn't had to do it yet. The foot foul lasers are live. Eric's only been bowled about three years plus. Also a 10 pin bowl as a youth. Won the average for handicap APH mixed double championship in 2023 with his wife Mary Bullard, who also was in the finals, the APH eliminations last year. A thrilling match, 10 string final on YouTube on Canopin Bowling Network. Over 1,000 videos, never a charge, always free. Please subscribe to Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Executive producer, Bob Lee. Altricio, good try, won't go. Interesting, got on the cap there, but not an unreasonable play. Maybe if he got on the broadside, it would have cut across. Eric leads up six. Nice 10. 9-10-10, 29 through three in the third. 
Eric to take three for a seven. 25 through three, they close the gap a little bit closer. It's down to the 28, handicap included. Left-hander, Dan Altaricio. Nice ball, the Canadian setback shot. Five, four, seven, right to left. Mason down four, six to go. Yeah, that piece of wood in front of the four, seven doesn't usually help many people. At least there's a diagonal piece to the right of the five. Surely Dan's detected it. For Spare somehow, he sweeps it over, Spare! His difficulty was deep wood, well placed. Eric missed right. Number one seed later on, Dave Kelly and Sean Doran. Eric, six. And here comes Al Teresio and Pawnee making a run. Eric, 31 through four. With the handicap, it's down to 24. And Dan can cut it to 14 with a strike on spare. And again, the handicap all included for the strengths so that gives Corrado and Dan a chance. Right side, seven, make it eight. One of the seven, it's down to the teens. 16. Eric Domino's eight, mm -hmm. great chance. 6-10, wood in front, one behind. Lighting has brightened up here at Big 20. More uh, lanes being taken up for, I think, a lead in progress right now, if I had to guess. Dan could use a spare. Can he get it? Oh, just tailed away. Ixnay, it's just open bowling popularity. Well Mason done. for a spare, got it! Stops the bleeding, 41 half. Plus one. Dan, it's a nine. After a spare six, a spare eight, 47 through four, 56 half. 15 blocks to go. Pardon my idle chit chat about the other 20 lanes here at Big 20, but uh, I have been seeing Mason and I do know he can find the range and he just did there. Critical in order to hang on. The food here is awesome. The grilled chicken, my favorite. They have pretzels, they have burgers, hot dogs, full bar, ice cream sandwiches, a whole lot more. Big 20 here, Route 1 Scarborough, Maine. You will love it. A classic looking lanes. Coming from old and new. Corrado for a strike, nine. Solid eight. Clean shot at the eight. Jordan Stackpole, strike bid. Takes down the six, three, seven, 10. Sorry, correction. Oh, the solid eight. Corrado for a spare, missed it. Stackpole missed everything. Sticks could still matter. We have a lot of uh, boxes here. Sorry, sticks, slang word for pins. I use it a lot, but. And Corrado with a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. Is there ever a good? Oh, look at that. What a shot. Mm. The Matt Harnett special made in the world to the final box to win it. For A plus accounting, their fifth title on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. What a 10 for Jordan Stackpole. Ignore that spoiler. You should still check it out on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Or that's the highest viewed live, live video we have. You can't miss it. Pondy trying to bounce back. Get Wills over. down the 4-7. Single pins left up, the easiest shot to make out of, out of all the pins standing by at least about 20 percentage points. Stats by Canop and Bowling Network. Pondy for a spare. Yeah. Oreo cookie got the cream in the middle, left the wafers on the outside. Stack hole. Got the object pin, the one to the three, but not the six right, eight left. Crowd trying to get a 10. Ball comes back for a nice 10. 20 through two. Jordan and nine, 19 through two. There's so much pressure on you as the highest average bowler for Pawnee who, can, who could have been uh, last name recognition on our scoreboard here for all, of course. When you got that 110's average, of course, you know when those marks get away, it's just so much pressure on you to really hone in and get it for the next one. They're down 16 on the right, plus up spare from Eric Mason up next. Corrado, beautiful ball, a setback leave. Jeez. Rarely goes, another split for the umpteenth time. Stack pull six, one, three, six, ten. Spare chance. That flat would just never helps anybody at any point, at any time. Corrado trying to send it over, good effort. Seems fair to me. At That's least the best you can do in that situation. Stackpole squeezes it down, spare. 29 the ball through through. They get two marks to none. Corrado 10. Three tenths, perfect start. 30 through three in the final string of the match.
Stackpole has just been so good against the Four Horsemen with this working ball. Even on leaves where it's more than the Four Horsemen, he still just has this way of just running it down when he misses the head pin the first time around and just coming back in with a powerful second ball. Corrado back in the pocket, another split. Give that man a break. Yeah. He had a couple opportunities that got away. Stackpole, but eight, nine. Six pin left up, that's on a fill. Big swing, 38 through three. Corrado triangle plus the 10. Object pin again, nothing else. Wow. Yep. Getting robbed. Again. Stack both another one in the channel. No good. Nine blocks. 47 through four. Corrado raised the pin. Friendly fire. Eight. 38 through four on Candle Pinball and Network on the W O N Sports Television Network. That was three object pins for Corrado on that one, wasn't it? Pretty much, yep. And he, He's been struggling, but he's pinning really well despite that. And that's a good thing. It yeah. Took a seat, really uh, polished his bowling ball off with the towel there. For Class A bowls, you have 47% of the head pin. It results in a mark. Stats by Kenneth from Bowling Network. Eight and back, one, three, six in front. Stack pull. One, wiggling two, four, seven. Trying could use this mark. Yeah. Not going to be easy. Can he get it? Oh, again, great try. Missed the eight. Stack pole, threw it away, but steals the one and the two somehow. Does that count as a commentator jinx when I mentioned his four horsemen prowess? <laughs> Corrado gets the 10, great pinning. Yeah. A full house, three tens. No, it's four of a kind. No, I actually had an eight box, so no, you had four tens and an eight. Not a full house. Jordan eight. a 10, 57 half, another great half. Norman, he's got quads. Five blocks to go for each bowler. Update from Greg Guillar. Just checking here, the scores are correct. So it is 26 pins uh, for Mason and Stackpole to hold on to. They, they're gaining in this string. Came in with 15 and now ha have 11 in hand. That's including the handicaps. So El Tarisio and Pani have sort of whittled it down, but not much. And Mason just subtracted that. You got a seven to fill. Englewood in front of the five and nine, seven left, 48 half. Dan Altricio powers down, eight. Goal post. Oh, there goes the 10, break. Big break. Mason for a spare, got the pins. Thought he used the wood. I think he was trying to do that. Maybe we'll leave, see a pin, play a pin uh, to the side for that one. Tough shot for left-hander, and it's in the no. channel, no good. That's a nine. So each, Corrado and Dan, each miss a single pin for a spare. Costly misses. Eric gets a 10. Yep. They made a run, and now it's pushing back up for Mason and Stackpole. Eric 58 through 6 in nope. the final string of the match. No respots in this game, unlike other forms of bowling. Stay tuned after this match for the $100 strike challenge. Each bowler will throw one ball for $100 each. Eric threw a nine box, a nine wins first ball. That one ball strike challenge last match. He's got the Christy Apple special again. For the avoidance of doubt, the uh, money for bonus money is given by Al Johnson. Candlepins for Cancer is a 501c3 charity. The money does go to bowlers and their families. Some admin costs like any charity, but the vast majority is going directly to families who need it. Please do donate at candlepins4cancer.com or contact Al Johnson if you have any questions. Now we promote Candlepin bowling tournaments like the women's game, mixed worlds, things like that as well. And obviously Candlepins for Cancer. Altresa could use it somehow, won't go. One of the five. He gets an eight, Mason nine, Eric 67, Dan 73 through seven, eight box to go. They made a run, but it's going the other way now. And lead is back to third, up to 35 for the fifth seed. Try to climb the ladder again. Eric a 4-2 split. All three said needs a mark or two. Tell Corrado, one, two, Seven, eight. Mason, beautiful ball. Hmm. Can't get to the East Coast. Mason remembers a 94 average. He can pin out north of that. Nice shot. It goes. Wood roll to the eight. Finally get a break. Excellent shot by Altaricio. 83 and a ball through eight. Eric and nine. 76 through eight. It's a big one to get. They still have time. They need some marks. We have it. 
Strikes have been few and far between, but what a time it would be if we got one now. Nothing like the great game of Canopin Bowling, a sport for all ages. Pick up a Canopin gift card at your local bowling center. Get friends and family involved. Any occasion, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduations, birthday parties, and of course the holiday season. Canopin gift cards, a gift that keeps on giving all year round. Support your local bowling centers. Eric Mason, good second ball, just behind the king, the five. Altricio, six on the spare. 89 through eight, two, four, seven, six, right. Good try, right behind the six, goes the wood. Love the body language. A for effort. Mason had to wait a second for the wood to stop by rule. Wasn't there for nine, 85 through nine, Altricio nine. After the spare six, 98. 98 through nine here in the final string of the match. His team is down 28. It was 35 a moment, a moment ago, he's gained seven back. Still have time, but they, they could use a mark here in this 10th box. Mason oh. strike! Oh. Wow, bombs away, baby! Timely strike in the 10th. Altrisa trying to match it, crossing over eight. Really, 10? Two in the 10. Corrado threw his arms up from the sideline. He cannot believe it. his partner can't get the luck either. I mean, they get so many splits, they've been so unlucky. Four the string for Dan, and two the string for Corrado. Oh, Teresa trying to kick it over. Up the wall, Roll. coming back, Roll. runs out of real estate. Now, Corrado in a situation, you have to get five marks to advance. The fifth seed causing havoc again. Dan a nine. 107, third string. Totals for him, Dan? Uh, Greg for Dan? Uh, Dan ends up with a 305. Eric Mason, 287 plus two. Mason on a strike. One, two, four, seven. Try and get a big 20 here at Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Great place to bowl. Bring your friends and family. Rock and bowl every Friday and Saturday night, 6 to 10 p.m. $13 a bowler, shoes included, two hours. Mason, big 19 box, 104, yeah. big, big third string. It's the follow through that's made the difference between his good boxes and bad, and he really honed in there on that 10th box it to tack 19 on the board. Would he end up for three? Eric Mason, 296. That's very good for him. He's been struggling earlier today. Over average again. He had a 103 in that first string, and a really crazy second string. He had a zero box and a spare after that. A two fill and a five, but they survived by two pins. Oh, man. Jordan Stackpole drills nine. Already has a 57 half, six pin for a spare. Corrado, 48 half. Punch, punch, punch for him. Need some marks. One, two, seven, eight, the three seed in trouble here in Scarborough, Maine on route one. Stackpole for a spare. No. Oh. The door is still open for Pawnee in Altaricio. Corrado for a spare. Slides around the eight. Jordan, 10. Back-to-back -back tens, three in the string, 67 through six. Corrado, nine. 57 through six, four boxes to go. Greg, is there a path? Let's see, 39. Uh, Miracle I, zone I've, yet? The Pawnee markout situation is still live, and remember, we can't take the pins for granted in this, but I think Pawnee needs running spares to have a shot. Double strike would certainly help. He's overdue some pin lock for sure, even though he has missed a few makeable leaves as well. Do that strike spare combination, the 10th box of the first string, give him a 111, keep it close. Triangle is a 3-5-6, Greg. Gettable. Stack pull. One in three chance, if I recall, for triangles. One seven nine. Oh, oh that won't go. Unbelievable. And time is running out now. Double strike a must. Jordan, nice nine. 76 through seven. Nothing below nine for stack pull in the string. Crowd out 10, 67 through seven. is a 111 and a 117 for the 116 league bowler. But Jordan stack pull has been magnificent both matches today. I think only one string under average, if I'm not mistaken, Greg, or two. One barely. 
and they need all that 115, that final string of that Ooh. first match to win by two pins. Corrado, head pin it. Get over four. It goes the four pin, three, six, ten. Has to get this to stay alive. Yeah, Stackpole needs the pin though. Stackpole, Forceman goes down, triangle stays. Corrado for a spare, no. Mm. And that could do it. Again, little of column A, little of column B, and why Pawnee's in double digits. Stackpole, nice 10. 86 through 9. Corrado 10, 77 through 8. Now in the miracle zone, Greg. Uh, that's for certain. And by, by a little of each column, Pawnee has missed chances, but also gotten very unlucky as well. Crowd need to pretty much strike out to have a chance. What are the odds of that? Never tell me the odds. They're going to split $600, and that'll do it. The fifth seed, Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole, continue to climb the Kennel Pins for Cancer stepladder. They beat the fourth seed earlier by two pins. Oh, wow, what a shot! Game, set, match, Jordan Stackpole. 96 of the ball through nine, outstanding again. Corrado, 10, 87 through nine. The They're next fall short. The next edition of the Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole show will be coming up next on Candlepin Bowling Network and, of course, uh, future airing on WON Sports. Check your listings. After the final box, book, give the, the final score. We'll pause for our $100 strike challenge. And then we'll pause for a few moments, come back for our semifinal match. Mace, uh, rather, Mason's partner, Jordan Stackpole, eight on the fill, 104 through nine for another one. No, didn't need it. And only fitting another sp split for, for Cor Corrado Pani. Yep. Jordan, nine. What a finish. 113. You're halfway back Corrado, to Boston. Eight, 95 final string. Updating the sc uh, final scores, uh, Greg. Uh, final scores we have Corrado Pani on 323. Uh, Paul, feel free to make your way down there. I'm going to take your mic out. Corrado Pony, 323, as so it reminds some bowlers of the strike challenge. Stack bowl of 328. And here's Paul. We'll be right back with the strike challenge in just a moment. Thanks, Greg Guillard, executive producer of Kenneth Bowl and Everett, Bob Lee, and WON Sports is Jonathan Rios. Corrado, come on down, buddy. Dan Altricio. Well, you guys battled them early on. You got a lot of split. You guys got robbed a lot today. Yeah, there are a lot of splits. But we missed some easy shots too. But you know, we got a lot of splits and tried to work out of them. But you know, the way they were bowling, we just couldn't keep up. I thought you threw the ball. You were on the headpin all day. You got too many splits. It happens sometimes. Unfortunately, you made some great shots and close calls. Tough luck today. Yeah, I mean, hands down to them. I mean, every time we thought we were making a comeback, they'd have an answer for something. So, um, you know, best of luck to them. We. We did what we tried to do, but at the end, they, they're the ones who kept us away, so. Stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge. You have $600 to split, plus your lemon, minus your lemon drops, okay? All right, so good luck in the strike challenge. Just a moment, guys. You did it again. Eric, you shine this time. You helped him this time, 296. Great performance. Yeah, I'm just glad I could show up for two games. The cheers seem to be gone pretty much that match. Oh, uh, they're still there, but I'm just trying to you know, block them out in the back of my mind. So, right. yeah. Get a bunch of lemon drops. So keep the lemon drops coming. Oh, yeah, I'm going to owe you 50 bucks by the end of the night here. Yeah, right. so. Jordan Stackpole, magnificent again today. Boy, you've really stepped up your game. First time being streamed, too, right? Yes, absolutely, yes. Uh, you love the cameras, huh? Well, so far. <laughs> Right, so you want to win the hundred dollars? I'll right, let the visit, let the uh, runner-ups do go first. All right, Dan, why don't you go first? Corrado, pick a lane. One ball for one hundred dollars. Throw a strike. You win a hundred dollars individually. If you get one, you win hundred dollars. Pick their only, pick their favorite lane. Kevin Richards, Jordan Lake, and the number two seed up next against Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole. Dan, no strike there. Crow trying to get a strike. And of course, it's a split. Of course, it's a split. Split City. Good break, good try. Tough break again. All right, Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole go for $100 each. 
crowd. Only fitting was a split, right? Uh, that's the best way to end this nightmare. Hey, you'll be back again, I'm sure. Yeah, I will. Hopefully we'll see you in Sanford for the roll-offs. Um, we'll see you about my work schedule. Right, thanks. He threw nine in the first match, not that time. Jordan going for a strike for $100. Won't get it. Thanks for watching this great game of Kenneth Mowling. Back to Greg we are to wrap up our middle uh, second match today. Indeed, thank you very much for watching this presentation of Candlepin Bowling Network and Candlepins for Cancer. And until next time, so long. <laughs>